made a commitment to track down those involved in order for us to bring justice to his family and to the life that he dedicated to public service. Area South detectives have worked day and night to put the facts together, and to interview residents, and to review surveillance footage, all of which led us to our first arrest of Joshua Smith, who was determined to be the person that drove the vehicle involved in the incident. Today, we have successfully apprehended and charged the individual we believe to be the one who pulled the trigger early in the morning on April 10th, ending Judge Miles' life. Earl Wilson, 45-year-old African-American male, is a Chicago resident. He was previously identified by the Chicago Police Department to be at a higher risk of being involved in a shooting as an offender or victim. And as we've seen time and time again, he is no stranger to the criminal justice system. In this case, he's also no stranger to murder. He was convicted of attempted murder in 1992, where he served 12 years of an 18-year sentence. After his release in 2004, he continued to cycle in and out of the criminal justice system with multiple arrests for stolen vehicles, domestic battery, and gun possession. His background highlights exactly what we're trying to address by holding repeat gun offenders accountable for the actions that they take. When we fail to address the problem, we continue to get these same results. Tragically, in this instance, it culminated in the inju injury to one innocent victim and took the life of a respected and well-liked public servant. I'd like to thank the detectives and police officers who have worked diligently on this case. This is the good and honest police work that occurs throughout the city every day and represents who we are as a de police department. Now I'd like to turn it over to Commander of Area South Detectives, Rodney Blissett, to give you more details on the incident. Thank you, Superintendent Johnson. Before I talk briefly about the investigation, I want to acknowledge the persistence and dedication of our detectives who worked around the clock on this investigation to identify those responsible. I also want to acknowledge the CPD Bureau, Organized Crime, CPD Patrol, and the FBI, who are all instrumental in helping bring this offender to justice. Patrol and Organized Crime helped us in locating the alleged shooter, 45-year-old Earl Wilson, while the FBI provided technical assistance as well as a $10,000 reward. Just before 5 a.m. on April 10th in the 9400 block of South Forest Avenue, 66-year-old Cook County Judge Raymond Miles and his female friend were shot as they exited the judge's house. The female victim survived, but unfortunately, Judge Miles died as a result of his injuries. For the past two weeks, Area South detectives have worked nonstop to gather crucial evidence to review countless hours of video and ultimately build a timeline of events which allowed us to piece together, together what happened. As you already know, last week we charged 37-year-old Joshua Smith with a first-degree murder, attempted first-degree murder, and obstruction. Today we are bringing charges of first-degree murder against Mr. Wilson as we believe he is the shooter in this reprehensible attack and was assisted by Mr. Smith. We believe the motive for this murder was initially a robbery and that Judge Miles, female companion, was the intended target. This, act, this attack was not random. Our investigation has also led to believe that Judge Miles was murdered when he tried to intervene and save the life of his female friend. As his criminal history indicates, Mr. Wilson is certainly capable of attempted murder and clearly has no fear of repercussions for his actions. We also got a taste of how illegal guns blanket our communities. Part of the physical evidence in this case included ballistics or shell casings from the gun. We know and already shared how this gun was used in an armed robbery that occurred in the past, this past January in the 7th District where a victim was shot non-fatally. It underscores the real problem of illegal guns that also are used over and over to cause havoc in some of our communities by individuals who also commit these crimes, 
multiple times over. I would like to acknowledge the area south lieutenant, sergeants, and detectives who brought this case to a close. Lieutenant Rockman Muhammad, Sergeant Michael Burke, Sergeant Tracy Walzak, Detective Donald Hill, Detective Mike Bell, Detective Dave Brandt, Detective Greg Bowie, Detective Donovan Jackson, Detect Detective Sonia French, Detective Brian Berg, Detective Wade Golab. I want to thank the community for the assistance, and I want to turn this over now to Alderman Beal. Good evening. I too would like to thank the Chicago Police Department for their due diligence in apprehending both of these people, getting them off of the street. And it just goes to show once again, we should be tired about talking about common sense gun legislation. We're not asking for much, just common sense gun legislation to get these guns off of the street so we can start saving lives every single day. I want to thank the Chicago Police Department for doing the things that they do. And more importantly, I want to once again thank the community for stepping up by saying we're not going to have a code of silence. It's because the community stepped forward working with the police department to provide cameras, the, the video, to apprehend these two offenders to get them off of the street. And in the spirit, once again, of Judge Miles, we want to encourage all the residents to purchase cameras. That way there's nowhere to hide. And stepping forward is what helped apprehend these two people to get them off the street, and hopefully we won't have these situations again. Thank you. It would take questions, sir. Superintendent, are you looking for any uh, additional suspects? <clears throat> There's more work to be done. Um, I don't want to compromise this investigation by getting into specifics, but uh, there's more work to be done on it. Can you talk about why the female companion was targeted? Did she know these individuals, or was it random in the sense that she was just targeted on the street, or did they know her? Our investigation, um, based on investigation of the offenders and knowledge of the victims, uh, that was lead us to believe that this is random. So, they didn't know. They did her not know her. Uh, that, that that was not random. That's what I'm sorry. How did they know her? Like I said, I don't want to compromise the investigation, so I'm not going to get into specifics right here and now. But they did know her, right? As I said, I don't want to get into specifics. Commander, could you elaborate on the relationship between the two suspects who have been charged so far? How did the shooter and the getaway driver know each other? Um, as far as knowing each other, when, when they met and, okay. you know, I think the motive of robbery brought them together. I don't know specifics of their relationships before that night. You mentioned that uh, you reviewed how this was made. When did you arrest Brewston and was there any issue when you arrested them? Um, Wilson, uh, there was no issue when Wilson was arrested, no. He was arrested coming out of his residence. Uh, Wilson, uh, he was arrested on the 25th of April at 17.08 hours. Uh, charges were approved on the 27th of April at 13.40 hours. And Commander, were you looking for Wilson from the beginning after you arrested the man? Or how did you, what led you to I mean, based on the investigation to that point, we had an idea who we were looking for. So that's where we were at. Did tips come in as well? Um, I would say, I mean, based on the evidence that we had, surveillance, cameras, um, the FBI did uh, offer a $10,000 reward. It was helpful. Man, oh. is there any insight into what's going to come out tomorrow? He is going to bond court tomorrow, right? 26 account? Yes. Is there any insight as to what may be discussed at the bond hearing as far as the facts of the case? Do you, do you have any idea what? I'm not going to discuss it here, if that's what you're asking. Uh, you would have to, you know, go to bond court. So you can't say what prosecutors are going to reveal? Um, no, I can't. Did a member of the community receive that $10,000 award? No, not yet. Do you hope that they will? 
Uh, we're looking into it. Ex ex um, we're looking into it to see if anyone's eligible for it. Last I known, it was ten thousand, but it might have been up. Okay, thank you.